Go for it. Hey guys, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com here with Patrick Efrid. That's right. Efrid. Efrid. Let's go with Efrid. Yes. Efrid. Okay, great. And uh, we're taking a look at the 3.0 toy box and some of the new creativity toys. Creativity. Am I saying it? Creativity toy. That's creativity how I do it. Toy? Creativity toy. Creativity toy. And so uh, yeah, he's going to show us some. Patrick, what are you going to show us? Patrick's a toy box mentor. What is? What's your best of? What what, what would we know you best from? Oh boy. Well, um, I guess in one point I did a lot of. You know, back then I was part of the community, so um, I, I did several of the different challenges. Um, but I guess in 2.0, more recently, I did all the Avengers Toy Box Tales. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah, those yes. were great. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, and then some of the different challenge boxes that we've been putting out. Uh, I think the most recently. Actually, my last Toy Box I ever built in 2.0 was one for the Little Mermaid. So. Oh, you did the Little Mermaid one? Yes. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to show you kind of right now, some of the new, um, actually kind of more themed... Uh, Star Wars based creative toys because while we have these awesome new set pieces and kind of different themes and stuff as well uh, we have some pretty cool new um, ones that fit well in the Star Wars environment uh, first up we have so the one looks a little different one I think the ones kind of looks the same from maybe the same from 2.0 from what, Is I, it? From what okay. I remember um, but yeah definitely from since 1.0 has, has been kind of Overhauled, so it doesn't look as maybe it's just a bigger TV, or I'm sitting closer. I think I think it might be, and actually, I've noticed I I think the one kind of scales to whoever your character is. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So it looks a little different on Hulk versus you know, Kane in here. But uh, what we have, I have a couple toys now the holocron switch, and I have the new ability terminal. We had an ability terminal in 2.0, uh, but it's been overhauled here. Very popular in the toy box summit, absolutely, yes. So uh, these are kind of similar to like a button or a trigger or anything that can kind of set off an event, but they're kind of themed to the Star Wars universe. So the Holocron, like a button, but it's only for Force users. Oh, cool. So just like in Rebels, you know, like the, I don't know if you watch Rebels? No, I, I, it's, it's on my list. Okay, cool. Well, Kanan has a Holocron. It's okay. kind of a Jedi... I don't know the best way to describe it. It's kind of like a Jedi hard drive, so to speak. It has messages on it. And, you know, this is kind of the part where you reveal spoiler alert. You know, Kanan kind of has his past as a Jedi. But we've kind of brought that into the game as a creative toy. So you can have that, just like a button when triggered, activate something like, say, this new droid spawner here. So I can summon, well, we just have one option in this version of the game. There's going to be tons of droids we can summon. This droid spawner is a lot like your friend spawner or enemy spawner. But just but droids. We have so many droids in 3.0, they kind of deserve really? their own toy. Really, it was toy. pretty awesome watching uh, the toy box at the summit, all the awesome droids. Absolutely. One thing that sets the droid spawner apart from those, though, is the fact that you can give those droids health. Wow. So you can kind of make a protect mission with them. So you can try to, you know, oh. get the R2 unit that has, you know, the Death Star destroying plans from point A to point That's B. That's pretty awesome. Can you get it without destroying? So just kind of show those and that make that connection. Sure did. All right, so when you go up to it, small, it's kind of the scale. But you use the force, you have to actually hold the button. It'll kind of activate like that. And then sure enough, he will spawn there. And since I put health on in those properties, uh, you know, you can get attacked, hit. Whatever you can also destroy it with friendly fire. That's pretty awesome. So we have that. Um, one other one that uh, we're going to show is the ability terminal. But I'm going to hook it up to an older toy that's gotten a major facelift. It's under gameplay now. And it's called the vehicle spawner. People are familiar with. Um, it's rocking a she uh, a should I say an infinity insignia now. So. This ability terminal, we had an ability terminal 2.0, and you can limit gameplay based off, uh, you know, is it a tech person, a super strength person, and they can access the things that way. Um, it's the same thing, but now we have a little hacking mini game that goes with it. Um, and I'll do that in a second. Now, this vehicle, tr uh, vehicle spawner here, uh, what it does, it's just like anything, it spawns any vehicle that's available in the toy box at the game. But the big thing we have now is that any power hex disk that's a vehicle, when placed on your reader, and I'll just move that away from it real quick, 
will be available in the options of that vehicle spawner. I just noticed how the, the tail light of the, the, oh. the wheel bike is General Grievous. Yes. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so if I wanted to have some sort of gameplay where I summon General Grievous' bike, I want to hack this terminal. Terminal hacks. Since I have that power disc on the vehicle spawner, I want to go down. They have all the play sets. We have a category called hexagonal power disc. Anything you have on the reader there will be an option available to you. That's so great. we can now summon all those 1.0, 2.0 discs that you know you kind of played with, but you know you really couldn't do much if you're trying to build a level. Or now, and can we see if, if, it'll, if it'll read the flyer? Let's. Uh, we'll try this one first, and then, we'll, then we can try the flyer. So it says default like, tech characters can use this terminal. I'm going to change that to force users. Oh, that's great. You can set up the... the... So you lightsaber wielders, force users, marksmen like you know, Han Solo. So, yeah, everyone saw this in the summer about a hundred times. But it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and just rotating the... the, the... You Sticks rotate the left stick there until it triggers you to prompts you to put in a. It's about I think three or four different kind of inputs. You have to kind of find the right yeah, tuning to it and then press the right button. And that's great. And it drops it right in. Yeah. So whatever cool. you have. And now that's saved to the toy box. And so when I upload it and save it and share it with Disney, that connection will be saved so that anyone who plays your level, when they have that they terminal, they get that vehicle, which is. You know. And uh, they're also mentioning that now you can, when you spawn that vehicle, you can have it the, the character put into the vehicle and locked into the vehicle. Absolutely. So with um, we have the, the challenge maker, which we had in 2.0, where you kind of set up a real kind of structured gameplay. We can start a challenge in a vehicle. That was always a hassle to kind of like you start the challenge and it's like a race, so you have to like kind of spawn the car dead center in front of them. And it was always kind of, you know, you're trying to hint to them, get in the car. So what we can do now is we go down here, challenge type, we can do, for example, ground vehicles. And it'll tell us which type of ground vehicle do we want. And this will give you the option for the hex disc It's again. the exact same option. That's great. So I can start a challenge in General Grievous' bike. And when I start that challenge, we'll make sure it works here. Sure enough, I am already in, and as hard as I can try, I'll let you out. I'm not going to get out of this. It'll just give me a reverse camera, um, but yeah. Until the challenge is completed. Until the challenge is completed, I am I am in Grievous' bike. So, kind of just another new, and that was something that was highly requested from the community as well. Yeah, that's so, awesome, man. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing this off. This Absolutely. is great. Absolutely. My pleasure. So Appreciate it, sir. There you go, Patrick, Toy Box Mentor. Uh, what's the, Pop Echo, right? Pop Echo, that's Pop right. Echo, that's it. There it yeah. is. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Anytime.